So the first question is, why is the tabernacle emphasized more than the temple? Now, I wasn't really sure which way this question was being asked. If the question is being asked, why am I emphasizing the tabernacle in my teaching rather than the temple? Because the passages that we're reading out of are speaking of the tabernacle. Okay? Everything that applied here later transferred over to the temple, but in the passages that we're reading there, they apply to the tabernacle. If the question is, uh, why does God emphasize the tabernacle more than the temple? You know, that's a, a good question because... Remember when David uh, called the prophet and he said, I want to build God a house. Here I am in a home of cedar, and God is still in a tent. And, and Nathan said to him, do whatever you have in your heart. God is with you. And then God spoke to Nathan that night and said, uh, 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 not so fast. <coughs> Since the days of Moses, I have dwelt in a tent. I've not asked you to build me a house. Then he goes on and he, he tells Nathan, you know, th this is not for David to do. It will be for his son. And, and what's really cool about this, in, in telling David, no, that you're not going to be the one that builds my house, um, two things stand out. One, David designed the house. And he set aside all of the supplies. Scripture says that when Solomon set to building the house for the Lord, the temple, he did so according to David's plans. Okay? Uh, but the other thing is, that in the midst of this, um, almost like a reproof. No, you're not going to be the one to build my temple. God gives him a promise. And he says, it's your son that's going to build the temple, but I'm going to be with you, and your line will be on the throne forever. And so God establishes the Davidic covenant in, in this almost a rebuke. He says, no, it, it's not for you to build. You're, you're a man of war. I'm, I'm going to have your son build, build me a house. And, and David, in the midst of this, was blessed. So why, uh, why is the scriptures... Speaking, emphasizing the tabernacle more. Again, we're in that portion of the scripture. Later, we'll see that there is a temple that is built. We'll, we'll see there's another temple that's built. And we'll see that temple is improved on and then destroyed. And there's yet another temple to come. Um, and and uh, we'll actually get a little bit more understanding of this when we get into uh, the Feast of Tabernacles.